बेबी हिटलर समटाइम्स पीपल ऑल्सो आस्क मी हिटलर वॉज सच अ हॉरिबल मैन ही वॉज रेस्पोन्सिबल फॉर द हॉरर्स ऑफ वर्ल्ड वॉर सेकेंड इन द डेथ ऑफ मिलियन्स ऑफ पीपल वॉट वुड ही बी रिवॉन एज वुड ही बी रिवॉन एज एन एनिमल वॉट वुड गांधी बी रिवॉन एज वुड ही बी सम वन रिच फेमस एंड पॉपुलर दे वॉन्ट टू यूज दिस रेफरेंस टू नो हाउ री इनकारनेशन वर्क्स फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल हु एवर सेड एवरी वन हैज टू री इनकारनेट मोर ओवर यू मे थिंक यू नो लॉट अबाउट दियर लाइफ बट हाउ द वर्ल्ड नोज देम इज नॉट नेसेसरीली हाउ दे वेर विद इन दमसेल्व्स हाउ दे वेर विद इन दमसेल्व्स existentially is what counts life does not care whether you were adored as a saint or despised as a tyrant so what happens after is also not dependent on that in your society a tyrant may be evil and a saint may be great but existentially it could be the reverse i am not saying it is so but it is possible it could be the reverse because we don't know how tortured they were within themselves it is very much possible that a man who tortured everyone else lived well within himself and a man who tried to do good to everyone tortured himself but it shows how different life could be existentially from what you or the society perceives reincarnation does not depend upon that now is it possible that someone who is a human could be reborn as an animal people have certain urges and desires it is desire that becomes the karma it is the volition attitude towards life fundamentally you can say it is desire right now let us say you have certain desires which are not fulfilled let us say your desire was to collect a billion dollars but you neither have the brains to earn it nor the courage or capability to rob a bank to get it you are not made like that so if you get 10 dollars you will save five you will starve yourself you will go through all kinds of difficulties to save and save and save with this process of collecting let us say by the time you die you have saved only a few million now there is a big urge within you to collect more but you die before that with the same lust of wanting to collect your karma does not know what you want to collect whether it is money or stones what rubbish it wants to collect it does not matter it only knows it has to collect it does not have the discriminatory power it is almost like your genes it is a subtler gene not a physical gene it only knows that you like to collect so the next time this gene may decide oh all my master wants is to collect which will be the right form for me to collect maybe i will become an ant or maybe i will become a bee you may become that we don't know you collect the honey someone else eats it if a particular quality is very dominant in you your karma will seek whatever kind of body and physical situation is best for you to fulfill that quality suppose your whole thing is to eat you want to eat eat and eat suppose you die without eating unfulfilled thinking of food even on your death bed the next time you may come back as someone's pet pig and be really well fed people think it is a punishment to come back as a pig this is not punishment for you nature is not thinking in terms of punishment or reward depending on your tendencies whatever is unfulfilled within you you get the kind of body that is best suited to fulfill those tendencies it need not necessarily be an animal form it may choose that kind of human form in that kind of situation and in that kind of surroundings where it can be fulfilled but it could be any which way this is like a game of snakes and ladders you go step by step sometimes jumping sometimes leaping sometimes falling back you climb one ladder 
but as long as the snakes are there it can swallow you and bring you back to a square one you climb up for a few days and again go back down it just goes on when you are on an active spiritual path we give you a device with which you can strip off all the snakes if you just take the responsibility there will be no more snakes on your board then you cannot build any more karma it is over the moment you focus your whole attention on yourself you will see you are the source of everything that is happening here the moment this awareness comes into you you cannot build any more karma it is finished now you have to handle only what is stored up it is very simple otherwise you will go on emptying from one side and filling from the other side the, there is no end to it so to maintain focus on your goal and create that longing which is beyond all these limitations is the best way to ensure that nature does not know what to do with you when nature does not know what to do with you it is good for you because you can work your things out very effortlessly when nature knows what to do with you you will get put in this chamber or that chamber the male chamber or the female chamber or the pig chamber or the cockroach chamber or some other chamber a body is just a chamber so if you maintain that longing which is not for this or that nature will not know what to do with you it cannot push you this way or that way it cannot make a decision on you it gives you an advantage that is the significance of equanimity